Well, that goose that we basically rescued as a chick, he thinks he's a burro. He always hangs out with those, those these two burros. But the last few days, actually a week or two now, I don't see it now. There, it was kind of behind them. But there is another goose <laughs> that's trying to coax him into leaving, I think. So far, he hasn't shown any interest. And like I said, I think he thinks he's a burrow. Someone asked what the difference between a burrow and a donkey is. And there is no difference. It's uh, Spanish is the name for, uh, or the burro is Spanish for donkey. Jeez, I can't even talk today. So I don't know what you would call a, a goose donkey. Goose burro. It's pretty funny, they're buddies though. Okay, there it is. The Tempris. <laughs> like I say, ours is just right over here. I can find it in the viewfinder. There he is. Doesn't seem to show any interest in the wild goose. And One day, there were some that landed out in the fight field and he came running at him with his neck about two inches off the ground and his wings outspread and hissing at him and chased him off. They all flew away. So, I don't know if he's going to stick around and live here or if they'll eventually talk him into going somewhere. I like that goose. I hope he stays, but you know, like I say, he's not he's not contained in any way. He can leave if he wants. I hope he doesn't. And he's got her garden going. <laughs> too cold to put it outside yet, huh? Oh, yeah. It's even too cold to put it in the greenhouse. Yeah, I bet. And we got this little um, plastic greenhouse. It's not very big. We kind of thought it was kind of useless, but it's perfect for this stuff. It's only maybe... I don't think it's even three feet wide by um, I think it's two and a half feet wide. Two and a half by foot and a half probably. Yeah. And what, five foot tall? A little more? Mm. Five and a half foot tall. Oh you're Yeah, how about that? Yeah. But being our seasons are so short, it takes forever. That's a good way to start. Yeah. So I will put this one outside, but I put this in here, so right now it's 79 degrees in there. The minimum low was 63, and right now it's sitting at 69. Yeah, these little goofy-looking pink lights, they work pretty good, really. She got those off, uh, what, Amazon or something? Mm -hmm. I bought this off of Amazon, too. Oh, they do have some that have lights already, but they were a little bit more expensive. And these were on sale when I bought them. Yeah. This, this, and the lights. So you can buy, you can buy one of these that have lights, grow lights in them already. You know, maybe looking back, that might have been the best thing to do. But yeah, I don't know. I also have an actual grow light that I was thinking of putting in here too, but there's really nowhere to hook it up right. 
So when I go to move stuff outside, I put my other grow light off there. And she's got her other plants over here. This is another grow light type of deal. What's the big one in the corner? This one? Yeah. That's just um, lettuce. Oh, lettuce and then the... That one's a pitcher plant for catching bugs, and then you got your fly traps. Some flowers have done bloomed out and been There's done. Seeds. I need to they got some seeds in there, though. I need to figure that one out, how to harvest them, and then um, plant them and see if I can get, get those growing. One of the things I got Cindy for Christmas is one of these little bitty hand chainsaws like what hillbilly's got he said that those things work really good and really handy so what did you do i cut my finger <laughs> i knew it but hey it works great i highly recommend these I didn't cut my finger on that. I was cutting some stuff up <laughs> for the birds to eat. And I thought, well, when Gary gets in the house, I'm going to get them good. You did, because I told her she wanted a, a little bitty chainsaw for Christmas. I said, you'll cut your fingers off. Sure enough. But I didn't cut my finger off. <laughs> but I had to get Gary and go tell Gary, look at what I did in my finger. Jeez. But I didn't. Plus, I wore gloves. So, so she fibbed to me. <laughs> but it definitely works good. I cut those. Yesterday, mixed up a little more of that bark water. Put that deer hide in here. This has been dried rawhide for years. I don't know how well this is going to work. I guess we'll find out. If it doesn't work, I'm really not out anything other than a package of the logwood dye. I should probably cover that so it doesn't fill with rainwater. And this one, these are the these are the beaver tails. They're looking pretty good, actually. Tomorrow is Monday. Today's Sunday. So, uh, tomorrow I'll dump out a little water and add a little more. Well, back to the shed. <laughs> I am so sick of this. Ah, oh, man. But I am gaining. I mean, it's I've got the most of the most important stuff out of here, and the rest of it, I guess they can. What I don't get, they can wad it up and take it to the junkyard along with the building itself. Kind of a shame. <laughs> 